Hey all, welcome to this week's CIO PCC video tour. We're gonna to take the long way around today because I wanna talk a little bit about this favorite collection we're gonna look at before we get to it. It's called the uh, DC Bombshells. This was a line by DC Direct, which was taken over by McFarlane uh, when DC Direct and then DC Collectibles went out of business. Uh, that has an interesting concept. These statues uh, are based on the idea of taking the DC characters and reimagining them as uh, in the pinup art style of the 1940s like you would have seen on the uh, wing or fuselage of a bomber, hence bombshells. Now these didn't come up out of nowhere, they were based on the illustrations and artwork of an uh, artist named Aunt Lucia. And uh, the best ones always were able to take the concept of the character and combine it with that art style in such a way that you recognized both at the same time. So let's look at these. I think I'm complete on this collection. We're gonna come around down here and start at the top. Now they liked to do variations, of course, just like everything else. So notice right at the start here, we have two of the Black Canaries. Black Canary, Lounge Singer, get it? Uh, and one of them is done in sepia tone. One is the regular colors they did. The sepia tone, they did several of those. I'll point them out. They also like to do some other uh, variants. You'll notice that Wonder Woman there is done in regular and in the Christmas version. And there are three Harlequins in front. Uh, one's regular, one's sepia tone, one is Christmas. And two Batgirls in the back. One of the Batgirls is a vampire uh, for Halloween. Now the girls weren't the only ones they did. They did some beefcake. There's Aquaman. They love to do Harley. If so, they already had three Harleys. And there's this deluxe Harley over here sort of uh, riding the bomb, very similar to the movie we all know and love. Death is one of my favorites, but I really like when they do two characters in a single statue, like the uh, Superman and the Power Girl up there. You'll see some more of those as we come around this corner. Like I said, now we've got some more of those sets. There's Batman and uh, Catwoman, and a particularly fun uh, Joker and Harley and a great Supergirl and Batgirl. Speaking of the variants, there's a variant Killer Frost, both versions. One of them was released for comic book day. Uh, it's one of the harder statues to get in this line. A couple of Batwoman. We come around we see the Joker's daughter. Now McFarlane seems to be carrying this line on. At least they've already done this large deluxe Harley here. There is a Supergirl. And I'm going to take us back around the other side because I forgot to mention two of the Poison Ivies. Poison Ivy is my least favorite in this set because she, the design has her sitting down and I don't love that design. But there you go. They supposedly did, we're going to do a, a holiday version of that Harley too. That's the sepia tone in the regular, uh, or that Poison Ivy. But as far as I know, it never got released. So that's it for the DC Bombshells. Let me know if you have any questions.